don't get any closer. I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. You sound kind of bored or depressed. Are you hitting burnout? No, Autumn Heart. I'm totally fine. It's not like my most recent video was age-restricted, even though the source videos I used weren't age-restricted themselves. And the ones that were, I applied heavy filtering, black bars all over the screen so anything sexually explicit would get fully censored. But... No, that's clearly not good enough for YouTube because they hit me with that good old age restriction. Thanks a lot, guys. But you know what? YouTube wouldn't stop there. They thought, an age restriction, that's not harsh enough. So you know what else we'll do? We'll take all the money generated from that video, put it in a dustbin, and then set the dustbin on fire. Meanwhile, Zoe carries on exploiting herself for views and money, totally unaffected. It doesn't hurt. Not even a little. So once again, I've just got to say thank you, YouTube, for undermining content creators while letting girls showing their cleavage flourish. I'm already dead. Now, I was going to dedicate a whole video saying how stupid this was, but I've done that about 20 fucking times in the past, so Paro needs to get a fucking life, guys. So before we jump into today's video, two little announcements I want to make regarding you guys. Firstly, I've recently enabled community captions on my channel. This essentially means any of you can put subtitles on the channel. All you've got to do to add subtitles is click on the card on any video, subtitles, and then add subtitles and it'll take you to a page where you can add them yourself. I do review the subtitles before they're published, so if you just write random unfunny shit, chances are it's not gonna see the light of day. The first submission I got was Shrek has swag in Dutch. Thank you? And secondly, I've had a lot of people complain when I upload a video, they're not being given a notification, even though they're subscribed. To fix that, go down to the subscribed icon, click that sexy little cog, and then click send me all notifications for this channel. That should fix it. If it doesn't, just email YouTube saying that their system's broken. They won't fucking respond, let's be fair. Anyways guys, today we're gonna be looking at a commentary channel that is, it's it's quite something. The channel that we're gonna be looking at today is quite a fucking miracle. So the channel that we're gonna be looking at today... Don't tell Jesse about this. Now today's video was originally posted onto the cringe subreddit. Oh, okay, guys, I get it, I get it, no, okay. You see, the problem is, when someone mentions the cringe subreddit, they instantly think of Jinx reacting to cringy compilations or try not to laugh. Don't worry, guys, I'm not doing that. Not yet, anyway. I'm in the process of selling out, but I'm not that far down the rabbit hole as of yet. The post itself, two mad lads try to stay in Ikea overnight and get caught. Sounds fucking appalling already. Yo, 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 what's up, Shinora? It's Carnage here, and today I am here with your boy, Lord Omar. Hold up a second, boys. What's this? Five individual ads in a 10 minute and six second long video? Jesus Christ, you're selling out more than Parasynical. We're actually entering rice gum apology video level. Today we is doing the 24 hour IKEA challenge. What we're gonna do is basically go inside IKEA, which is like this big furniture store in the UK. Meet Carnage a YouTube prankster who has to explain what IKEA is. If you think you've heard of the name Carnage before, you probably have. Last year, Carnage became somewhat infamous for jumping off London Tower Bridge. Yo, 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 what is up, Shinora? It's Phase Away Carnage. Today, I've got a very special video for you guys. Unfortunately, the fall didn't kill him, and then he had to later attend a radio show where he was publicly humiliated. Imagine you're walking across Tower Bridge, minding your own business, and suddenly you see someone in a red fleece jump over the barrier into the river. What, what on earth would you think? Well, someone did that yesterday, and he's here with me in the studio. His name's Faisal Shinwari. He's known as the as Carnage uh, on YouTube. Uh, Faisal, that, good to talk to you. What on earth possessed you? Um, uh, like, when I... When I Have you got brothers and sisters, Faisal? Ah, uh, yeah. It w they would have said, 
your brother's dead. But one Think of them... About it. Don't do such stupid, stupid things. I cannot believe you've done it. I'm going now because I'm very, very angry with you and you're very... Thank you very much indeed for joining us. That's Faisal okay. Shinra. You- so now you know some backstory to Carnage, whose name reminds me of a 2012 Xbox game attack. And hopefully, now you've all got a more open mind and we can approach the video in a better fashion. This guy's got his laptop. We're gonna watch movies. We're gonna, we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna do everything, okay? We're gonna make bangers in the store. Also, guys, I'd just like to say make sure to follow Real Carnage YouTube on Twitter. Just to repeat myself, make sure to follow Real IKEA. Guys, we are here. This shop is so massive, like, it's literally like 10 centimeters long. This man is actually brain dead. As you all know, I'm scared of heights. And to everyone arguing, saying that was just a little joke he threw out, no it wasn't. You don't know the real carnage. As you all know, I'm scared of heights. So we're out here waiting for it to close, and we just ran into this legend who knows us from YouTube. Say hi. Yo, what's up? What's your name? John. Sick. Nice to meet you, man. I think we could possibly find a hiding spot. No, don't record it, I was taking a shit. Dude, why, why did you take a shit in the middle of oh, Ikea? I had to go, man. <laughs> You'll pick this up quite quickly about Carnage. Everything he does, apart from flinging himself off a bridge, is a complete failure. What I'm gonna do is... That is a great idea. Tim, I'm a statue. Oh. Alright guys, so right now I'm sitting in this like super sick chair and I'm thinking of buying it. Like, it's so epic. Tell me what you guys think. Just so you guys know, yeah, I got a lot of money, yeah? I could buy a fucking chair. I got a vape shirt, mate. I'm made of money. I got a lot of money. Did I tell you I'm fucking loaded? Listen, Carnage, mate. We understand that you've got money. You jumped off a bridge back in 2015 and fucking Red Bull sponsored it. We get that you've got money. There's no need to rub it in our faces. Alright guys, so basically we're on Netflix right now. And we're gonna pick something to watch. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Why didn't we do this earlier? Believe it or not, boys, I can imagine a lot more entertaining things to do with your evening instead of being in a closet with each other watching Netflix. There's literally no one here. This is so crazy. We the about to lean up in this shit. Oy. You see, guys, Carnage is making progress here. Carnage has just comprehended the fact that when a store closes, that means the people inside have to leave. <laughs> Oi, this is so lit, we're in here. No one's here, what are you saying? Ikea at night? Oi! You see, the problem with these two is, they think that just because the people have left, no one will be in the store whatsoever. They don't understand that most stores have this thing called security. Fire as fuck. It's gonna be fire, bro. Shit. Right, Yo, this one there. Yeah. yeah. How are you? Yeah, we're good. I got lost, sorry. You got lost? Yeah. yeah. You're in the store? Yeah. Customers? Oh, yeah. yeah. I need to call the police for you guys. Come down to the kids department and make your way down to the kids department immediately. I actually don't think these two understand that they've just been caught by none other than big man Tyrone. I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of soaring over the oil fields, dropping hot sticky loads on disgusting foreigners. So we're chilling. And that's the end of the video. A total, complete waste of your time. Essentially, all these two did was go into Ikea, stay in there about 15 minutes after it closed, got in the cupboard together and watched a bit of Netflix, totally not gay at all, and then they got caught. I'd like to personally apologise for you having to sit through this terrible, uninteresting video, but the way YouTube are being at the moment, I can only really talk about boring, pandering topics, so... Nothing much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Before I wrap up today's video, I just want to give a shout out to two people that have massively helped the channel. Firstly, thank you to Shout for doing all these amazing character designs that I've been able to implement in the video. More are coming soon, so if you think they're a bit spread out at the moment, it'll get better as time goes on. And secondly, a shout out to Natne, who's designed my most recent profile picture. Thankfully, I'll be able to stick to this one because I was getting quite bored of using Ablo Pig as my profile picture. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If we could get a goal of five people jumping off the London Bridge, that'd be great.
I'm screwed. <laughs> She gets the 